We have a bad week for crypto lining up. How bad is it going to get? In this crypto news video, I'm going to share with you exactly where we're at, what we've got coming at us later this week and into next week, the impact uh, of those events on you and any and all crypto you own. We're going to talk about all that in this video. So if you're new to me, my name is Austin. I cover crypto every day with one goal to help you navigate risk, make more money in crypto. So links in the description below if you want to uh, check out a few things for you. I've got a trading indicator down there. If you're interested, links in the description below. Go check it out. Helps you know when to buy and sell any and all crypto. Uh, you can see like right here, this is Bitcoin. Gave a flash buy alert. There was a, another sell alert, 54% up. Another buy, sell, but all in. Uh, 65% for just Bitcoin. Okay. Links in the description below if you want to check it out and take it for a test drive. And I want to show you Solana. Solana was, has been crazy uh, right there from that buy alert all the way to that sell alert is 417 plus percent. So 1,000 in would have made you $4,179 in profit. Links in the description below. Check it out. Okay. So here's what I got for you. We've got a bad week lining up for crypto. Bottom line, it's happening. All right. So here's what here's what we've got coming at us this week. We have got the continued uncertainty, uh, a tremendous amount of liquidity capital sitting on the sidelines, trillions of dollars waiting to come in. Everything from the retail investors like you and I to institutional investors, money sitting on the sideline because of one word, uncertainty. I wish I could make a video and not use that word. I'm really tired of talking about uncertainty, but it is true that that's the main focal point right now. People's choice right now is to not make a choice. They're not putting money into the market because they don't know where we're going to go. The bulls don't want to control. The bears are in control right now because of the following factors. We've got some more downside risk for us for Bitcoin. We could see Bitcoin roll down to 35,000. Lots of reports I looked at this morning are showing that that's a major support level. And that's when the liquidity will probably start coming back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin, if you don't even own it, you should be aware of it and know that it controls 50% of the entire crypto market capitalization is Bitcoin. Okay. So if we continue to see Bitcoin roll down to say 35,000, which is about a 12 or 13% move down from where we're at right now, you can see Bitcoin's down 3%. We're going to continue to see everything else fall. Like Ethereum will probably fall below 2000 in that capacity. So that's the bad week for crypto thing lining up. So we've got continued doubt, continued selling pressure. We've had uh, basically profit taking going on in Bitcoin and selling pressure, even though we hit a high of 49,000 in recent week or so because of the spot Bitcoin ETF, we continue to see selling pressure, GBTC, a lot of things happening here, liquidity moving around, but really liquidity sitting on the sidelines, waiting for that bottom of Bitcoin. We hit that, then we should bounce back off of that. Positive note here, remember we got the Bitcoin halving event in April, but that's a little bit too far away right now to, again, manage this uncertainty and risk right this second. So continuing bad week for crypto as it relates to crypto news. Um, we've also got coming out later this week, we've got the January 26th right here in the blue. We're going to be getting the PCE, the consumer, I always get this wrong, the personal consumption expenditures. That's why I just say PCE. This is the Fed's preferred inflation gauge. Okay. What does this mean to you? This is a big part of the uncertainty that's bleeding into the entire crypto market is what is the Fed going to do in their January 31st announcement, which is next week, okay? Their announcement of, are they going to leave interest rate hikes alone? Or are they going to raise it? What are they going to do? Now, there's still about a 97% chance, that's what the street's calling for, that they are not going to raise the interest rate next week. But the fear here is, and the uncertainty here is, is that we don't know. If we get a hotter than expected PCE report on Friday, and hot is not good, hot means that number comes in higher than we're expecting, then we could be looking at, again, what are they going to do? It's the uncertainty and the risk here whereby we really don't know which way they're going to go. So you're going to continue to see pressure on Bitcoin and pressure on every single major crypto asset you own as we roll through this rest of the week and into, into next week. So bad week for crypto. What does this mean to you? What should you do? Quite frankly, it depends on where you're at. Don't sell from an emotional standpoint. Don't go, oh my God, crypto's falling. It's never going to come back. Please don't do that. Okay. Don't sell from an emotional fear-based position. 
look at this and go, you're going to write it out. That's where I'm doing. I'm writing it out because I'm also a long-term investor. And I know we have major, major good times ahead with Bitcoin having and all that kind of stuff, liquidity and capital flowing back in. It's going to happen, guys. It's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of, of you know, uh, if it's a matter of when, right? That's really what it comes down to. It's when. And I think it's going to be a little bit further down the road as we get into maybe March and April. We'll continue to see how that plays out. Okay. So, Bad week for crypto. How bad is it going to get? I've already laid out left for you. 35,000 Bitcoin is going to drag everything else down. Probably another 10, 15 plus percent. We'll continue to see downside risk in all major crypto assets. But this is a short-term issue, all related to uncertainty and the risk associated and lack of liquidity, lack of capital in the markets right now because people are afraid. Okay. So before I let you go, uh, Check out, there's a link down there as well to Margex. Check them out. This is, in my opinion, one of the best trading platforms out there. There's a referral code down there that if you use it, it's free to create an account and you get a 20% deposit bonus if you use my referral code. They got leverage over there, but I love this. Combined liquidity of 12 plus exchanges in one place. That's cool. Okay, so that's all I have for you right this second. Stay tuned. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and I will see you in the next video. Later.